say that I feel compelled to respond to your latest offering, the video concerning Lady Gaga's demands for Don't Ask, Don't Tell to be repealed. But just before I start, let's set some context so that I can address the most obvious knee-jerk responses. Or to be more accurate, the most obvious knee-jerk response, that I'm not an American, so what business is it of mine? Well, actually, on the face of it, that's a fair comment. I'm not an American, and even if I were, then I would have pretty much zero desire to join the military. So why do I care? What axe do I have to grind? Well, I'll tell you. My particular axe has nothing to do with the inner workings of another nation in which I have no stake and really no interest. My sole motivation here is in the correction of misinformation. To address obvious bullshit which has been spread out into the internet, of which I am a citizen and therefore do have a stake. First off, you state that you want to address Lady Gaga's demands that the Republicans repeal Bill Clinton's don't ask, don't tell policy. I'm really not sure what point you're trying to make with this statement. Bill Clinton's don't ask, don't tell policy was implemented to replace a regime in which gay people serving in the military were, well, pretty much hunted down by teams of dedicated detectives, often using entrapment so they could be expelled from the armed forces. Don't Ask, Don't Tell was implemented only as a first step towards allowing openly gay people to serve in the military. The Clinton government was fully aware that entrenched bigotry and homophobia in both the military and the government would prevent any more radical policy change from passing at a first attempt. And I'll be among the first to say that I think this is a cowardly compromise, but I suppose it was better than nothing. Don't you feel the slightest bit embarrassed that a foreigner knows more about your country's recent political history than you do? Or do you have no shame, and you're quite happy to put a Fox News spin on anything if it allows you to demonise those people who are in favour of equality and who therefore threaten your right to discriminate against a social group that you happen to dislike? You argue that joining the military is not a right open to everyone, that people serving in the military must have the ability to perform their job to a satisfactory standard, that there will be certain restrictions. So people who are over age or under age or overweight may be excluded if their physical or mental abilities don't meet the selection criteria. Well, that's fair enough. I can see why you wouldn't want, you know, say, a blind tank gunner because of the risk of friendly fire incidents. But how do you think a person's sexual orientation affects their ability to be a soldier? What particular disability would prevent a gay person from performing their duty every bit as competently, courageously and honourably as one of their heterosexual colleagues? Perhaps you can enlighten us because no one else has yet come up with a valid example. If as you say, the military is not the place to discuss or display your sexual orientation, then are you advocating that married quarters be abolished? That people in the military be forbidden to talk about their opposite sex spouses or partners? Any regimental dinner or social function in which a soldier is entitled to bring his wife or girlfriend is an advertisement of a sexual relationship. Do you think that all manifestations of human sexuality must be censored from military life? or just the ones that your bigotry makes you feel uncomfortable with. If, as you say, people should keep it to themselves, then everyone will have to keep it to themselves, otherwise it is discrimination. It's as simple as that. If you treat people differently based on social criteria such as their race, religion, gender, sexual orientation or skin colour, then that is discrimination. Either you create a culture of tolerance in which people can be open about who they are, or you descend into some politically correct hell where people are terrified of putting a foot wrong and violating some strict and unreasonable totalitarian code. As for Lady Gaga just using this as a platform to go after Republicans, well, there is a solution to that problem. If you don't like it when, as a Republican, people criticise you and call you a lying, small-minded bigot, there's a really easy way for you to blow them right out of the water. Stop being a lying, small-minded bigot.